Hello and welcome to Kirby SQL Talk. Today we're going to talk about uh, how you create a live streaming data set to Power BI and report off of it. So I'm going to start in my browser. I happen to be an Edge browser. You could be using Chrome or Internet Explorer. So I'm in Power BI. Let's go to your workspace. And then if you click on that, you will see your data sets here. And you don't actually have to click on data sets because over on the top right, we see an, an option to create. So let's create, and we're going to create a streaming data set. We're presented with three options here. This middle one, Azure Stream Analytics, isn't quite available yet. So let's just focus on PubNub and API. PubNub is a third-party service. That's where you can stream your data set to, and then you just, in Power BI, give it the subscription ID. In fact, let's just click that. Uh, if we click that and say next, it's going to ask for a sub key and a channel name. This is all things that you set up in PubNub. But for purposes of this demo, let's create uh, something through the API. This is a user interface to easily uh, create an API that you can stream data, that you can post data to. You can also programmatically uh, set up these APIs without using this user interface. That's probably the most flexible and secure way to do it because then you can use an uh, Azure Active Directory token. But for pur purposes of this demo, we're gonna click API here and then click Next. Uh, we're gonna create a data set. And like I said, if you do programmatically create it from scratch, then you can add more security to your data set. Uh, but for this one, let's call it YouTube Demo. And right here, now we're just going to type in some random columns that we're going to use for this demo. So I like to put an ID as the first one. Uh, then let's do date timestamp to give a, a good axis to report on. We'll make that a date time. And then finally, a value, make that a number. So you see it gives you a nice little JSON string here. Um, but something to pay attention to is this historic data analysis. If we created it like this, what it's doing is it will allow us to stream data real time to Power BI, but we won't have the ability to uh, report historically on it. And we won't be able to use all the different reporting elements in Power BI. We'd simply just be able to use a few visuals and report on real time. We, we want real time with historical reporting. So let's click on for that. Then we're going to click create. And this is. Uh, what you want to copy this push url let's copy this we're going to use that in a powershell script to demonstrate how we push data in fact if you click the powershell a menu item here it gives you a little uh, stub of code for powershell let's just say done for this and now let's see where that has put it we're just going to give it a second to refresh let's refresh our um, page and then go to data sets Actually, we probably didn't need to refresh. Just click data sets. And down here, we have one that's called, uh, we just created it. And it's called YouTube uh, Demo right here. So from here, you can create a report. You wouldn't be able to create a report on your streaming data using all the different reporting elements in Power BI unless we had a, you know, unless we picked that option that we did uh, to uh, get historical uh, data. So this is the streaming data set that we just set up. Uh, now, how do you create a, a, a visual on that? So let's click Create again. Click Dashboard. We're going to call it YouTube Demo. Click Create. And we're going to add a tile. We're going to add a tile. And you're going to be given these options. We'll click Custom Streaming Data. Uh, then it's going to ask you which data set you want. And we just created this streaming data set, YouTube Demo. Now, mind you, there's no data in this yet. We have not streamed to it yet, but we're setting up the structure of the report. So click Next. And now here's your visualization type. Remember when I said if you're just doing um, streaming data, uh, you're limited to a few visualization types. Well, these are the types. You can do a card, line chart, uh, clustered, bar chart or column chart or a gauge. Um, but since we said that we wanted historic data, then we can use all the other report elements. So let's just create a card for this initial one, add a value. This one's going to be ID. So we're just reporting on the max ID in the data set. If we click next, it gives us an option. You don't have to, but you, we're going to say max ID. So let's say apply. So now it's created a card for that. Uh, 
that ID. The ID in our data set, it'll just show, show us the max ID. Let's ignore this phone view for a second. Let's add another tile. And we're going to, uh, in this situation, once again, go to Custom Streaming Data. Next, pick our data set that we're working with. And then on this one, we're going to do a clustered column chart. Now, our axis is our date time stamp. And our value, we're going to add two values. We're going to click ID, then click um, value. So we're going to show two different values. Then you can do some other things. Uh, down here, time window dis to display. Let's go ahead and show uh, the last one second. Click next, then apply it. So our dashboard's done. Doesn't look like much because we don't have any data yet. Now look up on the top right. This is a pretty neat feature. Um, you don't have to create a phone view, but if you wanted a custom uh, view, then you, up here, instead of clicking web view, you pick phone view. And then it gives you, it's like a phone emulator, and it, it allows you to design your report optimized for uh, a phone or tablet. Let's click web view. So here we are. We've set up our data set. We've set up a couple tiles. Now we need to stream data to it. So let's go over to um, PowerShell. We're in a PowerShell editor, and remember that endpoint, that URL that I copied earlier in the beginning of the video? We're just going to paste that right there. So here we are, our endpoint that was produced and when we created this API. Um, then here's our three columns. We have an ID, a date timestamp, and a value. And these are just random values, and this is a PowerShell loop to push data. So I'm going to uh, click uh, Start here, Run Script. And then we should see data flowing over here. So here we go. Starting the script, you can see no errors. It's, it's looping now over here. Now you see it's actually pushing data to our data set. So it's that slick, it's that easy. These values don't really mean much, but uh, I wanted to show you how quickly you could set up um, this type of report. And before we end the demo, let's go back to our data set. So this is uh, these tiles that I showed you how you could create. But don't forget that since we uh, enabled the historic reporting, we can go back to this data set, click uh, create a new report. And now you can create reports on that data uh, with all these visual visualizations that are available in Power BI. So thanks a lot for watching. Talk to you soon.